In this video, I'll show you how to connect your Sparrow wallet to your Bitcoin Core node running on the same machine. You will need two things before we get started. Firstly, you will obviously need Sparrow Wallet. I have a guide on how to download and verify Sparrow Wallet on my channel. I'll make that pop up somewhere. Secondly, you will need Bitcoin Core fully synced on the same machine as Sparrow Wallet. I have a video on how to download and verify Bitcoin Core, and I have another video on how to actually get your Bitcoin Core node up and running. So let's get right into this on my computer. Here I am on my computer, and the first thing we need to do is run Bitcoin Core. So I'm going to click on Bitcoin Core at the bottom of my screen here. There we go, Bitcoin Core is now up and running. And we need to ensure that our node is fully synced. So if I hover over the tick at the bottom right of my screen, we can see it is up to date and how many blocks I have processed. So we have Bitcoin Core running and it is fully synced. The next step is to click Bitcoin Core at the top left of your screen over here. Then you want to click Preferences. And now we need to open the configuration file. So just click Open Configuration File and it's going to give us this warning. The configuration file is used to specify advanced user options which override GUI settings. Additionally, any command line options will override this configuration file. So we want to specify advanced user options. So I'm going to click continue and it's going to open this bitcoin.conf file. All we need to do is make one change. We need to say server equals one. That's all. Now we can close this file and we can say OK. Next, we will need to quit Bitcoin Core and reopen it. There we go. Bitcoin Core is up and running once again. So let's just go back to that configuration file and ensure that our update has saved. And there we go. We can see that server is equal to one. So let me go ahead and close all of this once again. And now everything that needs to be changed on the Bitcoin Core side is done. So we can go ahead and open Sparrow Wallet. So Sparrow is at the bottom here for me. So I'm going to open Sparrow. And now just like we did for Bitcoin Core, I need to click on Sparrow at the top left of my screen over here. And then once again, click Preferences. And it's going to open this screen. We need to click on Server over here. And we will see that by default, we are connected to a public server. We will also see a warning here. Warning, using a public server means it can see your transactions. So that is one of the things we want to avoid. What we need to do now is just click Edit Existing Connection over here. And then we need to change the server type to Bitcoin Core. And now there are one or two things we need to change. The first thing that pops up over here is URL. So since we have Bitcoin Core and Sparrow running on the same machine, you can just leave this URL as is. The next setting you can change is authentication. We're going to leave this setting on default. Next is data folder. So this is something you will probably have to change. What you need to do here is change the directory to where Bitcoin Core is storing the entire blockchain on your computer or on your external hard drive. So simply click this icon on the right of your screen. Now you will need to select the file where the entire blockchain is saved to. So in my case, it's on my external hard drive called 3 terabyte or 3 TB. And it will be stored in this folder called Bitcoin Core video in my case. So I'm going to click on that and click open. And there we go. Sparrow now knows where to look for the entire blockchain. It is saved in a folder called Bitcoin Core video on my three terabyte hard drive. The next setting is to choose whether or not you would like to use a proxy. I don't want to use a proxy, so I'm going to leave this off. And since I'm not using a proxy, I don't have to put in a proxy URL. So I have filled all these settings in. Now what I need to do is click test connection. And there we go. When you see this screen over here, you know that your Sparrow wallet is connected to your Bitcoin Core. One thing to note is if you click test connection and that doesn't work, you may need to give it a few tries. The first time I connected Bitcoin Core to my Sparrow wallet, it took five or six tries, but eventually I got this banner, which means it is connected. So we can go ahead and close this now and we will see it is connected to Bitcoin Core at the bottom left of my screen. You will also notice a toggle to the bottom right of my screen, which is at the moment green. So when I toggle this off, it disconnects to Bitcoin Core. And when I turn it on, it connects to Bitcoin Core. Notice that this is green. But if I go over to my preferences and change the server to public server, then this toggle is going to turn yellow. So public server will have a yellow toggle and Bitcoin Core will have a green toggle. So I'm going to connect back to Bitcoin Core. Another thing to note is that if you open a wallet with transaction history, Sparrow Wallet will need to scan your copy of the blockchain in order to load all your transactions and all your UTXOs. 
and this may be time consuming. So just be patient and eventually all your transactions will show. So I'm going to go ahead and open one of my wallets over here. There we go, I've opened one of my wallets and we will notice that it says scanning. So if I click on Bitcoin Core over here, we will see once again, Sparrow re-scanning. So Sparrow is just scanning my copy of the blockchain and loading all my transactions and UTXOs to my Sparrow wallet. Again, this may take some time, especially if you have a lot of transaction history. So just be patient and eventually Sparrow will complete this scanning process and you'll see all your transactions and all your UTXOs. And there we go, that is how you connect Sparrow Wallet to Bitcoin Core. I no longer need to trust anybody else's node to tell me what the blockchain history says. And I also no longer need to leak all my transaction history to somebody else's node. If you found this valuable, consider liking and subscribing and I will see you in the next video. Cheers everyone.